In 22.3, Tableau is changing the way external assets are made available to users by allowing you to move them into projects. This allows you to manage them using the permissions from your project folder. Here you can see that I'm in an external asset view. You can get to that by going to the left hand side menu here, selecting external assets. And all I've done is I've filtered it down to specific assets. So if I go here to non embedded assets, you see if I click on that little uh, circle radio button, then it narrows it down to these four assets. Now these four assets are all databases. I know that because here at the top, there's a little drop down where I can filter between the databases or the tables that sit in those databases. So if I switch between these two, you can see that it switches between a list of these. Now, um, with these particular databases, one of the things you can do now in 22.3 is you can select one of these, as I am now, select actions and go to move it to a project folder. This means that anyone who has access to that project can now see them depending on the permissions you give them, of course. So let's go ahead and move it to this 22.3 folder, select move assets. Notice there's that little option here at the bottom that I forgot to talk about here where, where it says, when moving assets, move the tables. What that means is, is that if there's a table that sits inside of the asset, i.e. the database you've selected, that's gonna go across with it as well. So let's go take a look and see how that looks like. Like to do that, I'll just hit this top uh, button here to say go to project. When I go to that, you'll see that I get a very busy list. And of course, I've done this already uh, to practice for this demo. And you can see that I get a bunch of items here. Now, this shows me everything, tables and databases. What I can actually do is I can filter this list to make it a little bit easier. I'll move my face to the left here, go down to this uh, content type filter. And you can see that I can just filter it to just the databases and files. And I have two databases. Uh, one is called TNMD Fivetran and another one is Tab Tableau Demo Database. They're both coming from Snowflake. That's uh, my snowflake id there if i unselect that select tables i see the six tables that come from those two databases so if i was to go to data lineage on any one of these i'd be able to see these tables sit under that so let's go ahead and do that very very quickly let's go ahead and look at this one for example tableau demo database you can see that i have my lineage here on the right hand side because i have data management enabled on this particular example and uh, it's actually going into a virtual connection, which then has six tables. So here's the virtual connection. It's got two things in there. And then what we can do is we can see all the tables involved. And I actually end up using a bunch of tables a bunch of times in this particular one. So it's not necessarily a good example. Now, the other thing to uh, sort of uh, go back and show you, if I just go back to that folder, is that in here, you can always manage permissions for everything at a project level. So if I go to these three dots and I go to permissions, you'll see that I get this list. Now, if you've been following Tableau for quite a while, you'll notice that this project's uh, sort of permissions menu has been getting wider and wider and wider to the point where at the very end on the right hand side, there's now a more button which adds metrics, virtual connections, databases and tables. Here, you can actually manage the view permissions and the capabilities of those databases and tables alongside with it. Now, the weird thing with databases and uh, tables in some respects is if I go to those specific permissions, it will by default use the permissions that are coming from the database itself. It essentially evaluates the database's own permissions for the user and uses that unless you change that and the setting goes slightly differently. So let's let's take a look at that in a little bit more detail. To do that, what I'll do is I'll close this down. I'll go to this particular dab Tableau demo database. Then I'll go to these three dots and I'll go to the permissions. And here you can uh, see that a little bit more clearly. So here you can see the permissions rules are, are playing out as normal. Now, if I actually just go back, I don't think this is what I was actually trying to show you. Um, if I go to invoices instead and I go to these three dots, let's see what we get here. Um, we do get the same uh, sort of setup, but this is not what I was seeing. I think the reason this is is because I'm accessing this from the project. So let's go back to the external assets. I'll go ahead and filter to non-embeddable assets because they don't they don't necessarily disappear. They still stay here, but they just moved to projects so you can see them. And if I go into these permissions, do I get that option? I don't seem to get that option. And uh, what's what's confusing me here is that I could swear there was a slightly different set of permissions. Maybe it's because I'm not I'm not accessing this correctly. So let's go ahead and edit the permissions here. I'm still not seeing what I would like to see. I'm not seeing the exact uh, options that I was seeing before. Let's go into invoices. Let's go into permissions one more time. I'm still not seeing what I needed to see. And uh, virtual connection tables. Maybe this is where I was confusing things. 
Okay, I think I figured out what was going on. It took me a while to figure this out, way too long. If you want to see how long it took me, go to the end of the video, I'll put the bloopers at the end. But essentially what happens is when you move the uh, assets to a project, the permissions window changes its style. So here you can see if I go to Tableau Demo Database, select permissions, you'll see that I get a slightly different style. It essentially looks like I've come to this from the projects folder. So it's essentially one uh, permission setup. However, if I go to a table that's not been moved to the permissions table, let's go to this one here. Uh, you'll see that I get a slightly different set of permissions. You can see here it says at the top, table permissions are locked for this database. So in this particular instance, because I've not moved the assets to a project, it's therefore assuming the permissions from the database. And if you click edit, uh, you get this little pop-up and you are allowed to then customize it. But this, at this point, you're customizing it uh, independently for the asset. Whereas if you move it to the project, that then becomes delegated to the project. I believe that's what's actually going on here. So if I then go to, let's say this table, which has been moved to a project, I go to the permissions here. Uh, you'll see that this now has a, a project like permission setup where I don't see that option here at the top. So it's a very sort of subtle thing that you will only really see if the asset is not part of a project, because at that point you go to the project to manage those permissions in a little bit more detail and probably lock it down at the project level. So any other assets in that project are going to be using the same sort of control and behavior that you've set for that project. So that took me a bit of a, <laughs> a moment to figure out uh, and you can actually learn more about permissions, but I believe this just sends you to a generic permissions um, you know, page. And I've done a video about permissions and how all these things are evaluated, but the really specific thing here is actually that nuance about what happens when you move it from a uh, normal external assets view here on the left hand side into a project that setting at the top changes so if you want to see more about this option you are going to have to uh, move it out of the project essentially um, i would be interested to actually see how easy it is to do that so here you can see that this particular asset has been moved into uh, the database but if we uh, am i able to move it back into the external assets i can't I can't, um, I can move it into 22.3, that's fine. I think maybe what I have to do, um, let's go to the actual project and here we are. So we've got everything here and what I'll do is I'll filter this to just the databases. And what I'll do is I'll see, can I remove this? Um, remove this asset from Tableau catalog. This removes a reference to the asset, but not the actual asset. Interesting, that feels like a, something I shouldn't do. So once I've moved something, how do I move it out of it? Do I, is this creating a new problem where you have to create like some sort of dumping ground for stuff that you want to move back out of a particular database? Or how, how do you move stuff back out? This is an interesting question. Let's go see the documentation because now I, now I think about it. I'm just, I'm just not sure. I just search uh, note and there's an additional capability move that is your show move database and move tables. So, okay, so this is my hack of searching the document. Note and you can move externalize into projects using blah 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 blah. blah, blah. Uh, for more information, move external assets, move, move, move. Okay, how do you on move? Let me just search remove. That's not an option. Interesting. So uh, be really curious. If you know the answer to this, let me know in the comments. But if I've moved something into a project, then I decide that I'd like to move it back out. How does that work? I don't know the answer at this moment in time. If I do find out the answer, I'll let you know in the comments. But for now, I don't see a way of doing this. Uh, all I can do is move it back out. Um, potentially the default folder, the default folder you can't delete. It's just the generic catch-all template folder. But then that means every project you create might have this database as part of it. That makes no sense to me. So um, it's a really interesting problem because I really don't know um, where you'd put it. Uh, I, I, I literally have no clue. Um, for the sake of science, let's remove one. Let's see what happens. So let's go ahead. This removes a reference to the asset, but not the actual asset. So this is the name of the asset. So let's go ahead, remove. 
Hope I've not broken anything. So if I go to my external assets <laughs> and I paste that in here. Oh God, I think I did remove everything. God, I did remove that asset. So whatever was connected to that is just not going to work. So that was not the right that was not the right thing to do in any way or form. Uh, if I search non-embedded assets, you see nothing comes up. Uh, if I just search TNMD, nothing comes up. Uh, if I clear all the filters, you see I do have one uh, database less in this list. So it has well and truly been, you know, ex removed from the uh, asset asset um, asset environment. So, uh, well, now I think the only way it's going to come back is if I connect to it again, it should sort of pop up here. Or when Tableau Next does its sort of search of content, it should hopefully appear. Um, but there might be some sort of exclusion list now that I don't know. Man, this this video was supposed to be short and now it's gone down a really windy road. But it's um, a bunch of questions that I think we have to figure out. So let's leave them as open questions for this video. I'll try and find out what happens to external assets if you want to move them back out of uh, their projects folder into the external assets folder. But for now, I'm going to have to stop it there because my brain is fried Thanks for watching. If you haven't seen all the other videos in 22.3 in this playlist, go check them out. Zone visibility seems to be the video that everyone's raving about. So go check them out if you haven't done so already, alongside the examples from the community to show you what you can do with that feature. And I'll catch you in the next video. Let's, it might be because it's not a database. So it's not, it's not sort of directly showing me the settings that I wanted to see. Uh, no. Uh, what could we do here? What did I do? There you go. Let's move this out of the way. Employees. Permissions. Okay, I think I figured out what was going on. It took me a while to figure this out.